Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, here we are with GZ Lores. This is Chris Donato, and I am going to be doing another lore review for you guys. Um, this one I'm extremely excited about. Uh, this is probably one of, if not one of the most famous uh, Marlin lures, and this is a Marlin Magic Ruckus. Uh, <clears throat> really excited that we're going to be able to be uh, carrying these lures and, and doing some reviews and getting to check them out. Um, like I said, this is just a, a staple. It's one of the most famous lures for Marlin fishing that's ever been created. This is up there with the Joe Yee Super Plungers and all the, the, the top legendary lures of, of fishing's uh, history. And you know, Marlon Parker's probably won the majority of his money in tournaments, which is a lot of money, uh, on the ruckus bait. And uh, I have right here a few of the, the main sizes that most people run. I have your regular sized ruckus right here. Okay, Marlin caught a grander on this in the Big Island Marlin tournament. His was uh, on the Dicron glass as well, but it was like a bluer color. And that was a really big fish. And that ate one of these, just a, just a regular size ruckus. Then we have the large ruckus. Um, this is a lure that is really, really productive. Big fish bait. Um, this one's in a black magic with like a, like a purplish blue dichron uh, and just a beautiful, beautiful head shape. Um, and then we got the XL Ruckus, um, which is like a really, really noisy corner bait and really, really good. Uh, so before I dive into this whole review, this is also a large Ruckus, kind of your more famous red eye, black back style. Um, but before I dive into this review, this is a really diverse head shape. Um, you know, they come in like a hard cut, they come in different weights, they come in with a belly weight. Um, there is a lot uh, to talk about when it comes to this lore, as is probably a lot of Marlin Magic lures. Um, so when I'm doing this review, I'm basically just kind of touching on the basis of just the head shape and kind of how it how it runs and just a bit about it. Um, if I were to give a review on every single thing, uh, we're gonna be stacking up some serious minutes here, uh, but they, they are all like a little bit different. Um, and, and the other thing to be, to be uh, aware of is that these lures um, are, obviously they're all custom made, they're all done by hand, sanded by hand, so no one is going to be exactly the same. Um, and I would suggest if you're getting some of these that you get a few of them, um, and you find your favorite one. Some of them are gonna just be absolute magic. And if you get that one, it's almost like you put it away and run it in tournaments or something. Uh, and uh, you know, they all do run great, but you're gonna probably find one that's absolutely magic. We had one on my boat that my, it was my cruise uh, lure and it was a black back red eye ruckus, just a regular size ruckus. And that thing was one of the hottest lures I've ever seen. It just, fish would just find it in the spread. Um, and when he no longer worked for me he, and, and left, he, he took his lure with him. I mean, this thing was lucky and he's still catching big fish on this all the time. And uh, yeah, I was never, uh, I didn't get a bait to be quite as hot as that thing was. That thing was just on fire. So if you experiment a little bit with these ruckuses, you're gonna find one that is um, just going to be lights out and that's the one you hang on to. Now these lures are Handcrafted by Gary Ehoff. So you'll notice on a lot of these lures, you'll see a Gary Ehoff and Marlon Parker. Okay, so what that is, is Gary is the one making these lures and putting in the inserts, uh, putting in the shell, doing that, um, you know, sanding them, um, getting the product together. And, you know, Marlon's done years of his uh, research uh, with these head shapes, coming up with the head shapes, um, coming up with the, the master mold, uh, experimenting with them, testing them out, and you know, uh, but Gary is uh, the one handcrafting these right now. So that's why you'll see that on the label, the Gary Ehoff uh, and Marlin Magic, because they're doing this, um, they're doing it together. And uh, you have a lure maker, you have two lure makers, and you have one that's fishing just about every single day and um, is one of the most famous marlin fishermen out there and um, 
Now let's go into this a little bit. Um, so these baits have been around for a really long time. Um, and you know, Marlin is the kind of guy that he's not gonna be put something in the spread that he, or out there on the shelf that he's not 100% confident in. And he'll tell you straight up that this ruckus is an absolute advantage when you're out fishing. Um, the amount of explosion that these, and, and the, the surface activity that these baits make is pretty impressive for the size of the lure that it is. Uh, you know, you can even go down, I don't have it here, but you know, they have like the baby ones and stuff. They're even gonna explode pretty, pretty dra dramatically. You know, the regular ruckus, um, you can get this thing to just be absolutely exploding. Um, it's, it's probably gonna run, you know, you're, you're, you're not gonna get just a consistent, just a molehill push. You're actually gonna get like an explosion. You'll actually get that kind of molehill push and then just a paw, just an absolute, as the name goes, ruckus. And big fish, small fish, they love that. Um, they, they love to have that little explosion uh, that just kind of triggers their, their attention. Um, you know, they may be looking at the bait and it does that absolute explosion and it might just fire them right up and they come in on it. And I think that's, you know, one of uh, a few attributes that re reasoning why these have been such a big fish bait and why these marlin just seem to pile on these or we'll find them in the spread. Um, now, in terms of where to run them, how to run them, like I said, there's a lot of different things in terms of how they're weighted, but in terms of just the ruckus shape itself, um, you know, these large ones, um, I think, you know, Marlin likes to run his on the short. Uh, you could definitely run it on the short or the long corner. Uh, you'll, you'll, the XXL, I would probably just keep to a short corner bait right there. Um, even this right here, depending on the size of your uh, the size of your fish, you could do this as a long corner or a short rigger. For me, I this would be a short uh, short rigger bait for me, um, just because I like to really run bigger stuff, and um, I feel like uh, I've had really good success with it on my short rigger. I do find that um, I like to kind of get these baits up in the rigger as high as I can. Uh, you know, this is a bait that you like. I said it, it's supposed to be causing a ruckus. So you wanna try and give it as much support with that action as possible. Uh, you wanna try and get it to be making its ruckus. Obviously be mindful, you don't want it to be skipping out of the water or, or kind of skittering right on the surface type deal. Um, so you'll have to adjust it a little bit. And you know, when you hit some rough water, you will have to adjust a little. Uh, and in terms of rigging, um, you know, they're, they're fairly friendly if you wanna rig them with a rubber skirt. They're fairly friendly if you wanna rig them with a vinyl skirt. A lot of people like it with vinyl and the newels underneath. In terms of, uh, you know, putting a hook rig in it, I'm always an advocate, advocate of single hook rigs, um, but you can certainly put a double hook rig in this and it will run great. Uh, and, you know, it's it's, one thing you might notice with this lure is you might put it in a certain position and it'll seem like it really wants to be, you know, you may say, I'm gonna put this on my short corner and it just sort of has that positioning that wants to make itself more of a long corner bait. And my input on that is you can change the way any lure runs for the most part and, and make it pull out or something like that. But I feel like with these lures, um, you want to kind of let them do what they're, what, what, they're, what they're meant to do. So, you know, if you put one on the short corner and it seems to, not be getting out in that clear where you want to and you gotta do any sort of dramatic uh, adjusting to it, I'd put it on the long corner and let it do it, let it do its thing. Um, so yeah, beyond that, you know, there's a lot of history to this these lures. Um, that's something I hope we can cover in the future and maybe get lucky enough to do an interview with Marlon himself and talk about it. But uh, you know, th this is a no brainer. Uh, you're tournament fishing, you're out there, you just wanna catch a fish. Uh, you know, you just want to catch a marlin. Um, it's a no-brainer. It really is an explosive, aggressive lure. Uh, it's going to cause a ruckus in your pattern, and it's going to bring fish in. So, you know, that's the thing. That that's that vibration, that sound, that movement. This is one right here that's going to bring some fish in on you. Uh, if you're a teaser fisherman and you're not putting hooks in your lures, these could be a really, really great, um, really great addition to your to your spread of teasers. Uh, like I said, it's in it. It's it's going to cause a ruckus, and these fish are going to single in and come in on it. 
And um, I would definitely grab a couple. You know, we're gonna have a bunch of different Marlin Magic Lures coming up. I'm, like I said, I'm super excited to be involved in this. Tournament wins, a lot of big fish have come and gone with these. Um, so there you have your ruckus. And I would say jump on GZ and as soon as these come out, grab, his, grab a few of them. They're gonna go really, really quick. All right, so this brings up a new feature that I'm gonna be adding into these lore review videos. And basically what we're gonna be doing is doing a scale from one to six on different attributes of the lures. Um, so it's important to note that this is not scaling a lure on how good of a lure it is or how effective it is or anything like that. We're just setting up a couple attributes um, listed here and we're gonna be, each lure is going to be kind of categorized where it might excel in one category and it may not excel in another category. And I think it's just kind of a cool thing to, to look at. Again, this is uh, my opinion on these lures. This is my opinion on, on my experience with them. So obviously always take everything I were to say with a grain of salt, do your own research. Every lure is gonna run different on every boat and every condition but I'm gonna try and give my best interpretation in these different attributes. And um, I'm gonna explain each of them also as we go. And uh, so what we're gonna start off with is the Marla Magic Ruckus. And uh, when we're talking about the Marla Magic Ruckus, I'm talking about the head shape in general and how it would run. Um, so, you know, take that where it is. But uh, uh, so starting off, we're gonna go with ease to run. So I'm gonna rate this with three marlin out of a possible six marlin. Now, real quick, what do I mean by ease to run? I'm talking about ease to run at its best possible way, meaning how this thing was created to run, how this lures optimal best thing, where you need to position it on the wave, what kind of rigging you're putting in it, um, where you're positioning it on the side in the rigger, all the factors that go into it, right? You got so many factors that go into making a lure run right. So in terms of ease to run, I'm not talking about, you know, you can just put a hook in this thing or your whatever hooker can just throw it out there and you're gonna catch fish on it. You know, this is a great lure, but, and when I'm talking about ease to run, I'm talking about ease to run at its highest optimal running. And so, you know, this one does take a little finessing. You gotta know what you're doing a little bit. You gotta be a lure fisherman and kind of figure out where you wanna run it on the wave and throughout the day when you're going down sea or up sea or, you know, where you want, what side you want it on. Um, all those factors go into it. And that's gonna be very similar with a majority of handmade custom lures, especially the Hawaiian ones. You're gonna have to know a little bit about running lures before you put one of these out. Uh, so that's why, you know, a lot of these custom handmade Hawaiian ones are going to be around that same category as the three. Again, that's nothing negative about this lure. It's a, it's just, it's a complex lure to get it to run the, the, the best optimal position. So that's why I'm going to put it at a three out of six. Surface action. No brainer. It's a ruckus. This goes all out. It's a six. If I could put seven Marlin up there, I'd put seven. Uh, this is a surface action lure. It's gonna explode, it's gonna rip the ocean apart, it's gonna cause a ruckus, it's gonna get fish looking at it. Okay, same with aggression, that leads right into it. We're gonna go with a six, it's an aggressive lure. It's a ruckus. Uh, moving on, underwater swimming action, okay? Every lure is different. You got plungers, you got tube lures, you got, you know, every different shape excels in a different category, okay? You got a cup face lure, you know, you got a bullet, right? A cup face lure, it's gonna be an underwater swimmer. It's gonna go down deep, right? You know, a, a flathead lure like that, like an Andromeda or a Grand or Canyon or something like that, it's gonna go down. You know, Molecraft, it's a swimmer, right? Ruckus really isn't that much of a swimmer. Sure, you could run it out on the stinger or on a long rigger or give it, put the angle way down and you'll definitely get it to swim. But it's not really meant to be an underwater, like full on swimmer. There's other lures that would excel in that category. So we're just gonna put that at two marlin out of six. Um, moving on, skirting ease. This is a really easy lure to skirt. The saddles on this lure are really big. Um, they're also angled so that you can get your, so that it'll slide your floss down into the crack there. They're not just a straight kind of a square type deal, uh, which is gonna make vinyling really easy for you. It's going to make rubber skirting easy for you. Uh, the only reason I probably didn't put it at a six is that I do know some people like to 
run their, their rubber skirts over the top of the lure head as they pull it down. Um, I've never skirted a lure that way, but I do know some people do that way, and I do know some people do that on bullets, especially if you're gonna put three skirts on a bullet and stuff. Um, so you'll, you really would struggle with doing that on the ruckus, so that's probably why it's not a six. But if you're folding it over backwards, um, how most of us will do a rubber skirt, you know, putting the skirt on inside out and flipping it, you're gonna have a really easy time. This is a, an easy one. Same with uh, vinyling, it's gonna be really an easy lure to vinyl. A little bit thick around there, but pretty easy how it's set. So we're gonna go right up there with a five. Uh, final category is the rough water category. Again, every lure is made for a different scenario, okay? This would not be my choice if it was really rough out in the ruckus. Probably would not be my choice, okay? There's other Marlin Magic lures that are gonna absolutely excel in those conditions. The ruckus is probably not one of them. Yes, you can get the ruckus to run in rough water, okay? Um, you, can, you can run it really low or flat. You can get it to run, okay? You guys on the East Coast, you can still run a ruckus, all right? On the days where you're really struggling and you gotta put out a mold craft and things like that where, and, and you know, flathead lures and heavier stuff, the ruckus is probably not gonna run good for you that day. But again, you can run it in the rough. I just don't think it would be a selection for a rough water day for me. I would go with another Marlin Magic selection, like they make an outstanding plunger. They make a bunch of lures that would just excel in those conditions. Um, the ruckus wouldn't be my top choice for that. So that's why we're gonna go with three Marlin out of six. All right, so those are the attributes, that my little uh, review stat thing. Again, this is just my opinion and take it with a grain of salt, but um, I hope it does add a little bit more depth to these reviews and gives you a little highlight on how I look at them and what I think categories it excels in. All right. So, there you have it. Here are your Marlin Magic Ruckus lures. Uh, Marlin Parker, Gary Ehoff, uh, Marlin Magic lures. You, you cannot go wrong right here. All right, go get some.